Alright, good luck, guys. Actually, these are even worse. Alright, I got my go, go, go queued up. Guys are definitely ready. 149 0 is when we're going. You suck. You suck. Let's fucking do this. All right, here we go. Three mob falling out, falling out now. Here we are on Kohat skirmish. 150 tickets. We'll be playing two matches for this face-off between Three Mob and CML EUK. So here we go. Awesome. Good to be here. So Tom, you're over there, following those yep. guys down. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to see these guys show off. We've never seen Three Mob um, before. Had a lot of those uh, kind of like warm up matches. We streamed a lot of uh, content in the last couple months, but we we didn't see three mobs. So they're a new clan to us. We've seen CML before, uh, as well as those uh, few guys they have Exodus playing with them uh, to fill up their roster. Um, so good to see those guys back, and I'm excited to see three mob. These guys have been uh, pretty excited, I know, from talking to them. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome showdown here on Kohat. Yeah, they look pretty organized over there. And we are split up into three squads over here on the militia side. We already have a fob going down now. Okay. So, sort of at Foxtrot 6. Getting a fob down already, Foxtrot 6. All right. Yeah, 3 Mob is utilizing those map markers. Um, You've got a lot of markers on there for paths of approach and stuff for their different squads. Looks like they've got squad one up in the hills here. Pushing oh, out. There's the a north. lot of a uh, lot of marking going on on the uh, CML side as well. Okay. They actually just instructed all their squad leaders to remember to mark enemies on the map, and at least five symbols on the map already. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very useful tool when you're playing this game to have that. Um, it's a it's a way to communicate, but not verbally. And I think a lot of guys miss out on that. You know, you can pretty much say you don't have to keep those comms completely plugged all the way through the match if you're utilizing those map markers and telling people where people are. So they actually already spotted the squad to the south, the southernmost uh, C uh, three mob squad. Oh, okay. Those guys up in the hill there. Yeah, they have an observation squad just sitting on standby on the hills, uh, relaying information yep. and marking the map. Yeah, those guys are going out pretty far on the flank there. Going to cut over here now. The uh, eastern side of the map here, watching the three mobs start to space themselves out. They set themselves up for a quick cap here. They're already on the second flag. So, uh, All right, Randy, make sure you guys keep moving forward. Time. up the map there map there so you guys can see how Kohat is laid out flags work three mob squad two there moving cap squad three moving across the riverbed now and up north they have crossed into the uh, CML hills looks like they're gonna take a sweep of those they certainly have. Yeah, we've seen a lot of matches um, go down successfully for the team that is able to control that eastern flank. If they can control that, there's a good chance that they can control and dictate um, how the map is going to you know, play out for the rest of the uh, for the match here. Pulling down to the ground, though, seeing 3Mob getting engaged by CML over here. Already coming up close and personal on the uh, eastern side, as you're saying. This man I'm moving up. Hey guys, I am three thirty from us. Comms are very clear on this side. This is uh, very good. Are they utilizing uh, commander comms and such? Yes, they are. They are uh, communicating One, when caps are going to finish be able to flank and a of sending squads coming. in advance for capturing next flag. So there's never downtime on flag captures. 
But I think they're about to be surprised by that northern uh, three mob squad. It's a four man squad coming in behind them. Oh, yeah, there you can see them now. Down the hill, right behind these guys. Asteta, though, for CML, has a drop on them. We'll see if he can alert these CML guys. They look to be alerted, though. Shop now turning around. They, they have been called out and marked on the map already. <laughs> <laughs> they are very quick on their comms. Very, That's very something good to look forward here. to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, now they're taking fire. Three mob a little quiet on their comms on this side. Alright, we have current we have enemies currently at Said. But they are definitely using them. Uh, point one. Yeah, I what I've seen from three mob so far is a uh, very good strategy. They're basically hitting the the points that look to be essential and trying to anticipate movement, so we'll see if the execution follows the plan. You got enemies between me and you. The uh, three mob squad to the north is still holding out. Yeah, they have been facing double the numbers basically. Yeah, they're hunkered down there, but the amount now moves up to take the high ground, leaving three mob down in the valley. This is where fog of war comes in. Like they don't know if it's a full squad of nine or if it's just that four man squad. So right. they really have to allocate more people to it than is necessary to deal with it. Right. That's where, like, even just simple recon can be, you know, can definitely pay off. Oh, you know, I saw six guys running is a huge difference instead of mm -hmm. I saw two ARs and they were spraying crazy trying to look big. Yeah, see, this is... They had this uh, observation squad on the eastern hills, but because of the aggression to the east, they, they got pulled uh, down to the cheese grater building, as people call it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... If they weren't that aggressive on the eastern side, that observation squad could easily have called out that it's just a limited set of people. Right. But that wasn't the case, so I, I like these micro events that influence the, the the battle as a whole. How are you it's guys really on where the, the individual flag, actions yeah, sort of shine. Heavy. We're holding them, we got a full squad on us. See the spears here now that I have thrown up that indicate the objectives of this map. You guys can get an idea of what everybody's crowding around. A couple of those three mob guys are still back there northwest. Uh, Ramsey, tank markers, well, enemies cross just the river into your cap zone. So uh, they're actually almost up to strength again up there. <laughs> And they have left, they thought they eliminated them. They they just called that out and are ready to move. Oh, really? Wow. So uh, they'll actually take no casualties in the end if they manage to get the last guy up. Got a couple of these skirmishes going on. CML now. Got a full squad down there in the river valley. They've also got some guys flanking on the hills to the west behind 3Mob. We'll see. I'm guessing that that three mob squad that just came back online is probably going to go engage these guys in the hill. Seems like that's what their their goal is, is to be a little more on the guerrilla tactic side of things. <laughs> they just recalled, uh, they were 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 just recalled. Ah, uh, you can... Get people up to speed, and I can get people up to speed on the match itself. Yep, so sorry about yeah. that, guys. We had an issue there with... Uh, the only way that we're going to win guys. this round... So we're going to get you guys caught up to speed here for this middle this, of the match. Action that's going on right now. We're going to need to push up yeah, one and two... Yeah, Commander Comps and clear on the side. And let three backfill this flag for us. We can't win, it's just defending it once we take it. Roger that. I agree. Okay. Cabby, so what do you so, want us to do? Basically, we had a 150 ticket match here on Kohat Skirmish, and uh, right, CML on. EUK Split Clan is facing off against 3Mob. And uh, yeah, we're, we're coming into this middle of the match here, uh, but we should get that full match in uh, for that second second match there. Um, but yeah, so the recap for this, 
Uh, three mobs started off with a uh, flank in the hill. They had a squad up there that was kind of raining down fire on the western flank for CML. But CML has been doing a very good job of marking out enemy locations on their map. They've been communicating very well. And they've, uh, as you can see, they've shut down um, this eastern side, which was mostly controlled by 3Mob at the beginning of the match here. But as you can see, uh, CML now off in the hills controlling this eastern side. So we're down to 61 tickets uh, for 3Mob. All right, three. Can um, you guys Tom, start what's the ticket count looking like for CML? <laughs> I just took a dive when you said that because they were managed to capture that we'll flag. We'll so we're get at 92 uh, at the that. moment. 92, okay. Good to know. Yeah, sorry, there was a bit of comms going on over here. They're, they're very active on comms. Yes, that, that's, that's, a... that's a little difficult to uh, to read on that. The 92 yeah. tickets for CML were at 64, so 3 mobs is bleeding a little bit right now. Um, yeah. It was worse uh, be before uh, the, the difference, but 3Mob uh, managed to come back and capture that flag for basically for the entire time that uh, squad we were one, two, down there's enemies on the direct on stream, right side of your river um, uh, on CML those uh, in the UK all the three of the flags off, so they um, bled out about two guys at least tickets or so well not actually not the bleed but they've also up in kills yeah they've got us so surrounded in this field the kills and, and and bleed combined yeah they they've got a little bit of a of a lead now okay yeah but not uh, Mark, like one, one flag cap you guys easily and bring come this run back down that way is that cool in, uh, favor, yeah for sure yeah as well yeah, that's probably the only hope. We've seen a lot of good flanking from uh, Three Mob as well. Very encouraging to watch. Yeah, these uh, guys very are... clear comps and uh, and map markers on uh, on CML side. So this is a very very uh, good match. And uh, Three Mob, they have a fob up there. Same fob that they had at the beginning of the game down there in Foxtrot Eight at four. Um, Hasn't been touched by CML, I don't think, the whole match. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, CML has been very cautious with their own fall placement. It's actually yeah, you're quite near their main. Okay. They're you're debating about like moving it like way south as a flanking sort of fall. We need to be backfield, but because you're starting we'll to see if that happens. They do have people down there, so we'll see. Guys, you want to go ahead and try to back cap that mark before they get Seems you? Seems that three mob came in in a. Big wave up north Friends, now. If you guys can fall in to help out Mark, we'll Yeah, I saw them spawning like in up there. I'm wondering what they're doing. Yeah, we gotta have bodies on this flag. We're and it's just quickly. body counts growing more and more. They're really, uh, really spawning in heavy up there. Looking to come in from behind CML. Pull up. Watch these guys come down the cliffside here. That western side of the riverbed. You can see on the map squads 3 and 2 for 3 mob. Now coming in. To the Go Hot River Valley, onto if that. If they have some ordnance, they they might be able to deal with the uh, CMLS. Yeah, They're all pumped up in pretty much one field. Yeah, that is true. I'm still spawning in down there in the middle. Yeah. Oh, but they're lost. fighting. They're 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 capturing by lying in that field. <laughs> they are. Yeah, those three mob. There's not a lot of guys left down there. I'm only seeing two up. They're, They're quite have... exposed, so it's going to be an interesting battle coming up. Yeah, we'll see how quickly they can get on that flag. Oh, it looks like it's been neutralized. There's been no calm so far, and there's no right, markings on the map for that entire big chunk of free mob guys. And they're usually very quick at marking it, so might be taken by surprise by this one. Yep, three mob on their own comms, talking about the approach for these squads to come in. About to take in the lower road sure there. You guys on the cap, no right? alerts going out so far. Oh, they're basically right on top of them. Off now getting into contact for CML. Off goes Here down. we go. They're sort of panicking. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh crap, there's a lot of guys behind us. Yeah, you can see a squad leader shooting. Uh, he basically just called out, they're all in the river. Oh man. You guys are sitting there prone in the field. CML getting some effective fire on these guys. The mob advance has more or less stopped. These guys are prone. Yeah, they managed to completely stop that cap. 
Yeah, they're all pretty much panicking to come back now because they're all over uh, both sides. How long before we can get on the cap? Are you on that cap? Uh, we have a couple well, guys panic. on it, but man, we're we're killed to stuck. save us. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're definitely yeah. alert to what might happen here. I'm down at least. I still have my squad. Wow. Hey, can you get Adam to come over and lift a couple of guys? Yeah, these three mob guys came down in force like they were ready to rock and then they kind of just stopped. They got a couple contacts and just stopped. But they definitely had the momentum. Uh, they're, and they're starting to push in for sure. But These CML. fields just naturally slow you because you, you can't know for sure if, uh, if there are people left in them. Right. So you have to sort of be cautious when you get down there. Yeah, man. CML still in control over here to the south. I'm just hunkering it out at this point. Yeah, we had that southern fob go down by, uh... Tell Sandino to what's check that? That's Golf 7. Ah, uh, Sandino, check that Okay, more. Golf 7. Yep, three mob heads, two fobs up. They did spawn in from that... That flank over on the, the other side of the map there. They spawned in from the fob over there. 7. Yeah, all of the forces here pretty much contained to the river valley. Where the majority of the fighting goes on. CML now falling in. They've got some guys coming in from behind. Uh, from the northeast. on the, Descending on these three mob guys. You got one guy on the flag up there. Um, Tackett's on that flag. Can you guys join in, Bob? I got guys doing it. Uh, let me know if Taggett falls. Yeah, he's. I don't see him. Do you want us to move up to that flag, or are you going to do it, Bob? How are the tickets We're looking over it. on uh, your side? We're down to 43 tickets over here. How about on that side? 69, but that could easily swing with this uh, capture if that goes through. Yeah, it would basically it. be even if, if this happens. Yeah, I think so. The uh, the battle can get dictated in the next couple minutes here. The three mobs able to capture their defend flag and then quickly neutralize that attack flag. That's going to be a huge ticket swing. Yeah, if they, if they capture this, they... Oh... Did they get it? Yeah, they got it. They have quite a few guys already on the attack flag. But CML is now pouring in here. CML very aggressive on this push. On squad lead, guys. On my body, too. Uh, Dropping bodies. CML starting to go down here on the attack flag. And what's this push coming in from the south? I see some CML guys over here pushing from the south. Looks like four, four or five guys out here. We're down to 33 tickets. How many tickets on that side? Uh, still 69. Okay. They're holding on. Holding on. Am I bleeding a little bit here? Oh, yeah, they're bleeding personnel, but actually not tickets. Yep. Yeah, the only chance we got. No pressure. Two or three. Um, Just two check that flag. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that uh, the flag they're currently defending up north. That's pretty much going to decide this game. Two CML guys here to the south on their flag. Uh, squad 2, there's an enemy directly on squad 3. Uh, squad leads marker.
Wow. CML has a very effective uh, Grenadier. He's really thriving on people Before hiding in the fields. Oh, really? We're having trouble He's currently sitting at 18 and 3. Just lobbing grenades down into the fields that wow. the 3-mob is occupying. D. Yeah. Next reports, my guys are gonna keep pushing, trying to get information. Grenadiers are definitely a priority target to take down on, in this map. Yeah, it's pretty much the only thing you can do if you're coming up on a field and you know there's guys in there. I mean, it's gonna be pretty much yeah. death if right, you, you try to crawl this. in there with your weapon, so. Yeah, normally okay, uh, hard, it's, it's all the optics guys people are worried about, but if you're actually I'm down there, you, you have a lot of cover, but not from all the AOE the weapons, so right. sort of shifts your priority. If they're doing a hill-to-hill -hill fight, of course optics is the best, but yeah, switches to priorities. Absolutely. This, this guy's just hanging back and watching for, for markers that being placed by squad leaders, just nuking those. Very interesting. Alright, flag is safe back here, guys. Push that shit hard. Push that shit hard up there. Three, now, three mob now coming on cops. Gonna push hard. And the flag is good. Guys are coming up from northeast. Uh, Mark, on you the got enemies coming the from the river from you. Direct right of you. Yeah, I think Real they can. Uh, I think they can cap from, yeah. that flag now. Should have enough bodies on it. Down to 22 tickets uh, though. 20 now. Mark on you. If they if they get this, it'll be pretty much dead even, except for a tiny bit in favor of uh, of CML and EUK. But it, we're talking like ten tickets if if this succeeds. Right. How many tickets again there on the CML side? Uh, fifty. Fifty. Okay. That's yeah. That's an important number still um, coming into the second match. If it's a tie. It's gonna. The match is gonna go to tickets. So that's that's an important number to keep in mind. Now how much? How yeah. much can we uh, lose by? They just called out that they're losing the point. So this is what we're looking for. And definitely, yeah. You you want to save every single ticket in a match like this because you like this is already a very close match. It might as well go in the other favor next match. Sixty's a sniper. Hundred meters. SCML crawling on their defend flag here. We desire down there. All right, we're taking out. this quick. It's real quiet. That's a neutral. Now it's neutral. Yep. Uh, CML and the UK are basically calling everyone back. They they want to stop this. Fifteen tickets now. We'll see if Dreamop uh, can up. get a final punch in in terms of tickets. Yep, every single uh, Russian on the map is basically rushing in now. They want to wipe this out. Yep. Now it's three mob prone in the field. We saw before with CML. Yeah, with no Overwatch. So they're gonna just have to hang tight down yep, there. Yep, they're just gonna uh, have to work. From from I have to sweat Russian it out. I would not want to be down in those fields. Yeah, they're pretty, uh, pretty much uh, surrounded here, from both we sides have this gap in time, of the hills. <laughs> they're saying that they should have the cap. Uh, it's gonna be close. All right, Ramsey, I marked a fob on the map. I see, I saw two enemies spawn there. Unsure if that's actually a fob though. Medic down. They're leaving the. Attack objective, they don't want to go for double neutral, they want to really wipe these guys out now. Uh, there we go, 26 tickets here. Wow, 19, so that's a huge yeah. punch. Yeah, I was saying, there. Like, <laughs> if this succeeds, this... But now it's the danger of being wiped out uh, right. there, So because they had no overwatch to protect them. Now even if they lose this match, that still puts them in a very good, um, oh, yeah. you a very comfortable position. This. Exactly. Alright, 13 tickets. You guys need to make a decision up there at that next fly if you want to send. Uh, this is this has been so back and forth. Just, just been to it. that tiny bit of time yep. where CML held that third flag. Squad that, two, that's actually the determining point, thing. So like ten out. tickets. Uh, let's try to avoid respawning for as much as possible. Now. Actually, that's not the full story. 
They're, it's because they're hit on kills. So looks like they actually had the upper hand with objectives, uh, the three mark for the time. Like that. Big numbers on the CML side for kills, but uh, more right, spread three, out there. I'm sending there my medic mob. with you in there, just FYI. They're taking this. Uh, they definitely have allocated more sort of Overwatch positions where three mob or more, more just get on the objective. Right. All right, I'm gonna shut them uh, up. Right so that know. might a little more balanced approach from yep. three mob, and I think I think they're spot on. Ten tickets now, three mob. Yeah, twenty here. Huge spawn in again from that fob out there in D7. Three mob now descending down, coming from the northwest. Uh, 30 seconds to listen, neutralized. Oh, Holy that's going to be a it. huge We're play for them. Ramsey. They're sitting right on that on CML flag, now. and CML does not know they have a fob out there. I don't know if they've ma mapped it their, uh, on their maps. Nope, they have not. They don't know. Three mob is sitting out there. Oh, there comes the neutral. Not a contest in the world. Yeah, neutralize the flag. Oh, that fog wow. might be MVP here. Wow. This ten tickets, might be a ten clean. tickets now. Wow, this is really coming down to it. That's going to be another hey. big punch, right? For CML. Seven seconds yeah. on neutralization. Marked. I've marked on that. They're, uh, they're rushing for they're, it. They're set up at that crosshair. That's very exciting comeback. Yeah, it looked is. like they were on the back foot the, last, uh, the first five minutes or so. I can't well, pick a more perfect situation to describe how important fobs are in their locations. That no, fob was not gonna... wasn't out in the open. And it was pretty well hidden. Two, does it look like you may take it looked that like they were back? coming from Maine, but uh, but actually it was over there in the hills. No, we're down. We just don't want to spawn because tickets. Oh, I don't know, what do you think? Now three hey, mob is holding I'd spawn. spawn your best two Comps are frantic. Rally. They're just sort of realizing just oh, they might be slipping. Would. And we'll three, see if they can get this cap. Are you leaving some guys up there here. on the last one? Six tickets. They're holding spawn now. Five tickets. Four. Alright guys, uh push <laughs> That that cap will uh will bring it down. And it's now Shaw who's getting on these three mob guys. He's the first CML guy to get in contact on this objective. Only two three mob players now holding this uh holding this objective and trying to cap it. Four tickets remaining for three mob. Yeah, still nineteen here. They've got to be pretty close, capping that flag. Yeah, I really wish we we had that in, but alas, we can't make everything at once. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it exciting. Yeah, that's censored for us, that's for sure. Can only imagine what the guys are feeling. Yep, CML pushes in now, three tickets. Still 19. Uh -huh. No There's one's given up at this point. Keep, <laughs> keep them from capping north fields. That's what's going to do us in, is if they get that cap, we'll lose our tickets. If they, fully tickets now. It. they can't cap it as long as Malk is decapped. Might be too much. I think Not so. Sure but you're going to have to cap it first to move on, right? They're still calling up for help on the they CML side. Stalemate, unless we all die at Malk. Oh, they called it out. They're capping it back now. I, uh, it's unwinnable now, at this point. And how many tickets left? 19. Okay, so we'll go into the second match there, with about 19 tickets here. That 3 mob 18. is going to have to win by. Yep. Oh, this this is not impossible to come back from, not no. at all. Especially how these clo close these teams are. Yeah, we saw just in the back half of that match, how 3 mob really came back strong with those big land grabs. Very close, guys. Well done. Well done across the board. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, very positive attitude yep. from 3Mob coming out of this match. And that is good to hear. Surprisingly uh, quiet here. They've been chatting all game, now it's all quiet. And now it's, yeah. <laughs>